Before we go any further, let me take this opportunity to say, on behalf of the materials engineering faculty, congratulations! It's no easy fit to get here. From the determination to pass the UPCA, in actually passing the UPCA, to the rigorous registration process, and finally here, you did it, you all deserve it. Now, settle down because you are just getting started to your academic journey that is BS Materials Engineering. Some of you might know, but some aren't. So what is BS Materials Engineering? Let me visualize it for you. Let's start with the shrimp. Its shell contains a material called chitin. It is usually extracted in the form of flakes. But, if you study its structure and property, you can turn it into a film. This creation of a new material is under material science. Moving on, yes, we have a film, but so what? Is it even useful to us? Thus, we process and test its performance to become a product that is practical and usable to the society. This fabrication of a product from existing material is materials engineering. As you can see, if you want to make a good product, you have to study the material's structure, property, processing, performance, and characterization. This interrelationship of these components is what you call the material science and engineering tetrahedron, or MSE tetrahedron for short. You can't be a materials engineer without knowing how to be a material scientist. That's what the UP Department of Mining, Metallurgical, and Materials Engineering trains you. That said, as a BS Math e student, you have to study first the structure property relationship, followed by the analytical techniques applied in materials, then you get to learn the different syntheses and fabrication techniques for materials. Afterwards, you will also get to learn material failure analysis. These first four make the bulk of your coursework. With this knowledge, you have to apply them in the real-world setting by entering an internship program in your last mid-year here in the university. Lastly, you have to complete a thesis or design project for your final year. All these require you 159 units of courses. Here is the program flowchart which will be given to you after this orientation. Anyway, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have to redesign this to help you cope with the remote learning setup. For your first year, Instead of 20 units each semester, you will only have 17 each. Because of this reduction of units, we require you to take a mid-year for this academic year. Now, let's go to career opportunities. Remember, material science and engineering is a diverse field. Thus, after college, you can get into number one, manufacturing and quality assurance. Number two, failure analysis. Number three, product design. Number four, material testing. Number five, lab research. And number six, teaching. <laughs> 